We are here at the start of the WPT Championship final table with Chris Limo, one of the final table contestants. Chris, it was a long day of poker. It's been a long week of poker to get here. Walk us through how you're able to get to this point. Wow, this is a dream. You know, the last 10 years I've been watching the WPT and hoping one day I'll be here. And it all started as a joke, you know, with the Almighty. I last second I decided to come. Final table that went back home, decided to come back to play the main. You know, I come sit down. I think it was the fifth or sixth hand. I busted a flop top set of eights on an eight seven deuce board. I lead in, guy raises, I call, turn as a three of club. I bet out, he goes on, I call, he has nine ten of clubs. Oh, flopped open ended, turn the flush draw. <clears throat> he gets down the river. I decide to do one more rebuy, just grind it out, you know, made it through day one card that made it through day two, you know, started running good in day three a little bit. And um, I had Kings one hand, again, I almost got knocked out, I made a big fold. Pretty much just, you know, grind it out all the way here. Um, yesterday we started with 30 players, I didn't have, I had a decent amount of stack. First hand I sit down, short stack goes all in and I pick up aces, I'm like wow. I knock them out, we're down to 29, I have 3 million almost feeling good and then in a blink of an eye I'm down to 500,000 in half an hour and um, and then I build it back to like 800 a couple of times I raised Russell Crane he three betted me one well, there was one hand where I had king nine of heart he, he went all in on me I just kind of a till call at that point and I was fortunate I flopped a gut ball got a uh, flop a gut shot turned the gut shot straight knocked him out chipped up and um, you know made it to the final 10 we were down to the final bubble seven people to go and i have free freed on my left and uh i i ever i raised i think it was on the button i'm not sure where it was with ace king he three bets me on uh, small blind so i was i was i wanted to trap him with ace king you know i didn't want to play too big of a pot because i know he's aggressive so i call with ace king flop comes 10 high with two hearts he checks i uh I bet out. I said, let me see where I stand with him. And he calls, and the turn is a queen of heart. When the turn hits, I'm like, all right, let me just try to get him off this hand. And if he does call, I have a gut shot jack for the nut straight. So I bet out 800,000, and the jack of diamond hits the river. So I have the nut straight, and he opened jams. I was like, this is unreal. And uh, I was pretty sure it took me about 15 seconds. I folded my hand face up, ace king. Because I figured he put me on a set of tens there, and he wanted to see a safe river, and then he opened jams to stack me and uh, he's a very aggressive player people think you know he's crazy and he's in the dumpest shit but the guy knows what he's doing he's probably the best player on the final table right now and he has 45 percent of the chips so it's gonna be hard to you know play against him but just need a little bit of luck on my side and uh, I think I'll be all right you know and you mentioned that fold you made to Fareed there were obviously massive pay jumps in play there was a shorter stack at the table were you thinking about that at all when you made that fold, or were you just making that fold because you thought it was the best decision at the time? Honestly, I'll be honest with you, I haven't looked at the pay jumps. I don't know when the pay jumps go. I know if someone gets knocked out in seven, the pay jump goes higher. You know, people kept telling me, oh, I'm like, I don't want to know the pay jumps. I know first is 821. That's what I want. Um, and I didn't fold because it's the money bubble. I was just, if I knew I had the best 10, I would call them. You know, I'm not playing to come in final table on TV, which we all want to. You know, because if I make that call, I win. I have $8 million. I'm, I'm a big contender to win this. But uh, I was pretty sure he's he knew where I was. I knew where he was. So I was pretty sure, and I just op opened my hand. I mucked it, you know. And he had A7, A7 heart. He had the nuts. And on your direct left, you have Simon Lamb, and then two to your left, you have Taha Maruf, both relatively similar stacks to you, and you're familiar with them based on your years of playing with them. How does that help you coming into today, knowing a little bit what they're going to try to do against you? I know Simon. Uh, I don't know how he plays. This. I watched him play yesterday. He's pretty tight but aggressive. He picks his spots. Very good player. Taha, me and Taha <coughs> have a history. We've played heads up cash games. We've been playing for the last 10 years. He's very aggressive. So am I. You know, we never respect each other's play because if I'm raising, he's raising me. He doesn't put me on hand. I don't put him on hand. It's whoever has the, you know, big huevos, you know. So, uh, but I think I have an advantage, you know, against Taha. Because he thinks he knows what he's doing against me, but he has no idea, you know. Um, a lot of people on the final table might think they know 
what they're gonna do. Like I said last interview, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, every hand I play it differently. You know, I have a feel. You know, who I'm playing against. Do I want to trap? Do I want to play a big pot? And you know, I just need a little bit of luck on my side this one time. You know, and uh, hopefully, you know, we get it. And I'm hoping to play for eight heads up. It's gonna be a fun match. And you said yesterday that the last 12 months have been an absolute dream. You final tabled the massive event one last year's BPO, won the Almighty Stack, final tabled Almighty Stack again this year, and now you're sitting down to play for a WPT World Championship. What would it mean to have that dream all culminate in a first place finish? This is every poker's, every poker player's dream. You know, I always tell my wife I have three poker goals in life, and I accomplished one. I won a Borgata title big field I, my second biggest dream was to win a WPT event which I'm here and the first one you know everybody wants to win the main event in Vegas which is pretty impossible but it's doable so this will mean the world to me you know the money it's of course it's you know every, it's life changing if you want to say it you know almost a million dollars you know uh, is it going to change my life completely no but it's going to make life a lot more comfortable uh, am I going to hold back because I'm playing for first prize for 800? No. I'm going to pick my spots. I'm playing to win. I'm not playing to come in third. Anything less than first, I'm disappointed. You know, because the money, sixth place I heard is 170 and third is like 300. So it's not that much of a difference. You know, but first prize, you know, 800,000 is a, it's a nice little chunk change, you know. Well, we wish you the best of luck today before this final table gets started, and hopefully we'll see you at the Winter's Circle shaking Vince Van Patten and Tony Dunn's hand afterwards. Best of luck, Chris. Thank you. It'll be a dream. Thank you.